In the last video, we used the log function and the exp function from the math module. And the math module is already installed on your system and it was just to import the math module and then use the functions. Well, let's say that we would like to add some random numbers to a variable. A variable is just a container with a name where you put stuff inside of it. So for example, we can write my random numbers equals to np dot dot random number and we would like to have 10 of them. If we try to shift enter that to run, we see that, well, the name np is not defined. And we think that, well, okay, that's because I've not imported the numpy package as np. Okay, so we run this again, but we see that, well, there is no module called numpy on our system. Okay, that's a problem. So how can we resolve that? Well, we can actually just in, um, install numpy from the terminal. So here we can write py dash m pip install numpy. So here we call Python and we pip install the numpy package. You can also do this from the, the command prompt. So we just open the command prompt and we write, let's say, pi dash m pip install numpy and hit enter. Now you should see this process going and it will install on your system. Okay, so here we see that, well, to update, run python xm-m pip install dash dash upgrade pip. Okay, but this is really not ne necessary for our use, so we just close this. If we now try to run the uh, the cell here, we can hit shift enter. And here, if we click these, we can expand cell input. Okay, so we ran import numpy as np, and we ran the my random numbers equals np random dot rand n of 10. This rand n of 10, it gives us 10 random numbers from a uniform normal distribution. What we can do now is that we can go down to Jupyter and see the variables. And indeed, we have the my random number. Let's just expand the name column here. And it's of size 10. It's a numpy array. And here you have the actual numbers. So to see these numbers, you can actually just type, let's see if my fingers can join me. My random numbers, and you can either shift enter on that or just hit the run button. And here you have all the random numbers which were created.